In this video, we will introduce a software solution for through life support. This solution is built using a cohesive suite of loosely coupled commercially available software tools adhering to open interface standards. Each tool targets a different area of a product's life cycle. Diagnostic engineering, product engineering, test engineering, and maintenance. When interfaced through open data formats such as DiagML and the IEEE ATML format, these tools offer a complete end-to-end -end support solution. The first software application in our tool chain is DSI's Express. Express is a fully featured off-the-shelf software application providing an environment for the design, capture, integration, evaluation, and optimization of system diagnostics, prognostics health management, and holistic systems testability engineering. With Express, you can develop diagnostic strategies and export diagnostic strategy data in the DiagML open format. Let's take a look at Express. Here we have loaded the diagnostic model for an automobile electronic control unit, or ECU. This diagnostic model contains components connected through nets. For each component, we can define the reliability and various failure modes. Nets represent the pathways across which information travels between objects, which means they determine the propagation of failures. The external connections of the system are represented through I.O. flags. Next, we define the set of tests that can be performed on the unit. Tests can be manual or automated. Automated tests can be performed on board or off board, for example, with automatic test equipment. For each test, we can see the measurement location and the coverage, which consists of all the elements proven good when the test passes. Next, we will perform a diagnostic study on the ECU model. We are looking now at such a diagnostic study where Express has generated automatically a diagnostic fault tree. We can now simulate the execution of a test program implementing this fault tree. For example, we can see what happens if this test failed. Then this test passed. We're here. Then this test passed. We're here. Then this test failed. And we're here. After the sequence of tests, U1 has failed. U24 is a secondary suspect. U23 is partially proven good. And all of the components in dark green are good. We can use this simulation to fine-tune the diagnostic model. For example, by adding new tests or test points. Once we are satisfied with the results, we export the diagnostic strategy information to a DiagnML document. Taking a quick look at the DiagnML file, we see an XML document where the relevant information from the diagnostic model and the diagnostic strategy is encoded in a hierarchical structure of tagged elements. The next software application in our tool chain is ATMLPad. ATMLPad is a visual editor for the ATML test description data format. This format is standardized by the IEEE as IEEE Standard 1671.1. Using ATMLPad, you can import diagnostic strategy data from DiagML as well as other sources, add test and signal definitions, and then export ATML test description data to National Instruments Test Stand. ATMLPad is integrated with New Wave X Signal Development, or New Wave XSD to allow in-place editing of signal definitions conformant with IEEE Standard 1641 Signal and Test Definition. New Wave XSD is a user-friendly graphical design environment for signal-based test and measurement. This product provides the facilities to design, build, and simulate test signals prior to their inclusion in a test program. Let's look now at ATMLPad. We first import the DiagML file by running the specialized plugin. Once import is completed, we can see in ATML pad the set of tests and the diagnostic strategy represented as a list of steps. For each step, we see the next step to be executed after a pass or a fail. 
for terminal nodes, we see the diagnosed fault group, which in turn links to the faulty components. We can now save this information in the standard HTML format. After import, the behavior of each test is described through a few words, extracted from the information provided in Express. You can use HTMLPad to create a detailed behavioral description using operations commonly used in automatic test programs, such as setup, connect, measure, and so on. As an example, let's create a setup operation. As we edit the HTML document, HTML pad validates our input against the IEEE standard schema and highlights the problems. In this case, we must create and then reference a local signal. Now our document is valid. When describing an operation, we can use New Wave XSD to create signal definitions conformant with the IEEE 1641 standard for signal and test definition. In this example, HTMLPad uses New Wave XSD to edit in place the value of a signal attribute. New Wave XSD can be opened in a separate window to create new signal definitions. For example, here we are defining an AC signal we can edit the values of signal attributes, view the signal waveform in simulation mode, and view the XML string that is used to describe the signal. When new wave X is closed, this XML string is returned to ATML pad, which embeds it in the ATML document. Again, let's take a quick look at the HTML file. We see an XML document where UUT and test description information are encoded in a hierarchical structure of tagged elements and attributes. There are sections for UUT information and test and diagnostic information. The list of tests appears under the Actions tag, while the diagnostic strategy is represented as a test group with multiple steps. The next software applications in our tool chain are National Instruments Test Stand and the Test Stand ATML Toolkit. Using the toolkit, you can translate ATML test description documents into Test Stand template sequences and template LabVIEW VIs or Lab Windows CVI functions that you can use to develop your test software. You can write custom code generators to enhance the LabVIEW or lab windows CVI code that is generated during translation. The resulting code is executed under the control of NI test stand, which produces test results in the Simica test results format. This format is standardized by the IEEE as IEEE standard 1636.1. Let's look at the translation process. You can perform this operation directly from HTML pad through a plugin module. Running the plugin invokes the test stand translator. When translation is complete, the resulting sequence file is automatically displayed in the test stand sequence editor. Each step of the diagnostic strategy was converted to a test stand step. The next steps to execute on pass or fail are represented as post actions. For each test, the translator creates a template code module in LabVIEW or Lab Windows CVI. In this example, we have LabVIEW code modules. Let's look inside. The template contains controls and indicators for the data items transferred between the sequence and the code module. The test behavior is translated to a label. Test engineers would typically use this information as a reference when writing the test code. Note that you can also customize the translator. For example, to translate operations into test code, targeting your automatic test system. For this demonstration, we created a simple UUT simulator. The simulator has a user interface where we can inject faults. The simulator implements a simple mapping logic to determine which tests pass and which fail. 
the LabVIEW code modules interrogate the simulator for their pass-fail outcome. Let's inject a fault, for example U2, and then run the test program step by step. We are now traversing the fault tree with some tests passing and some failing. As the test program executes, Test Stand generates test results in the standard IEEE test results format. Let's look at the test results file. We can see the failed outcome for the test program. The tests that were executed are also recorded along with their past or failed outcome and some identifying information. The next software application in our tool chain is DSI Workbench. DSI Workbench provides for a variety of interactive diagnostic implementations. Our demonstration will exploit one of the diagnostic implementation modes of DSI Workbench, which enables the reuse of either the express or user-supplied diagnostics via DiagML within the production and maintenance troubleshooting environments facilitating the integration of diagnostic design views, engineering views, photos, and videos within an integrated environment. DSI Workbench accepts test results generated by automatic test equipment in the standard IEEE standard 1636.1 Simica test results format. For our example, we created a model of the ECU board showing the actual layout of the components. The DiagML file generated by Express is first loaded into a publishing tool for DSI Workbench called RTAT, or Runtime Authoring Tool. RTAT is a middleware tool that establishes an environment to perform any customization of experience to be published for the DSI Workbench environment to be used by the technician. Since the Express diagnostic acumen is fully carried throughout this process, DSI Workbench is immediately able to determine the relationship between the pass-fail outcomes of individual tests and component failures. Let's run again the test program step by step and look at both test stand and workbench. After each step, workbench displays the components that are suspected. In this case, we have U2 and C1. At the end of execution, the faulty component is U2, highlighted in red. As you can see, this matches the fault we have injected in the simulator. Let's run it again with a different injected fault. For simplicity, we will now perform an end-to-end -end run. In this case, we have an ambiguity group with U1 as the faulty component and several secondary suspects. To summarize, we have shown how an integrated suite of software tools can support a product through its lifecycle phases, from design and diagnostic analysis, to test and evaluation, and then to diagnostic and repair. In the design and analysis phase, Express allows us to create optimized diagnostic strategies and integrate onboard and offboard diagnostics. Information from tests and evaluation can be used for diagnostic verification. Historical information from diagnostic and repair can be used for closed loop model improvement. In the test and evaluation phase, ATML pad and the test stand ATML toolkit perform automatic code generation. Historical information from diagnostic and repair can be used for closed loop test requirements verification. In the diagnostic and repair phase, test stand performs automatic test results generation. Historical information can be used through DSI Workbench to optimize repair strategies. Adaptive learning can be used to improve diagnostic capabilities and to reduce no fault found or retest OK occurrences. This slide summarizes the benefits of this model-based integrated solution for through-life support development. The following organizations have supported this demonstration.